tasty bites. Recipes you'd be a fool not to try. <laughs> On today's episode, we tackle one of the most daunting and yet simplest of prepared meals, sausages. <laughs> now, there are many kinds of sausages. <laughs> there are many kinds of sausages, but they all share a common link. <laughs> they are all ground up past the point of recognizing their true origin. <laughs> Much like the forefathers of this great nation once ground up everything in their path as well as their own past to make a brand new American dream. <laughs> one could say we are not so much a melting pot as one great American weed. <laughs> Let's begin. The most important thing you will need is a clean, well-oiled, and a sharp grinder. What in place is then up to you. You can start with something classic, such as beef, or as they say in French, <laughs> or perhaps something along the Greek island style of land. <laughs> For breakfast, you have your classic chicken and apple. <laughs> Now, once you get the hang of it, you might want to branch out a little bit, perhaps with some vegetables. <laughs> Be sure your grinder is nice and sharp, you might end up with some undigestible. <laughs> if you're really adventurous, you could try some uh, fish. But be sure not to use blowfish. Unless, of course, you want some poison poisson sausages. <laughs> Here's one of my favorites. Equal parts olive and penguin. Very good. For those one percent black tie affairs. Try one as a garden. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps a Polar Express. This one is four parts polar bear to one part iceberg. <laughs> Both of which are surprisingly difficult to obtain nowadays. <laughs> now for the kitties, I like to take some of my stale milk to make a batch of knockwurst. <laughs> and I know I can take care of any of those neighborhood rascals by simply making them a brat. <laughs> now, once you get a hang of your showboats, you might want to decide to run for the After all, making laws is a lot like making sausages, they say. Here's my favorite recipe. You take one part idealism. Two parts nostalgia. One well-cured backbone. And three parts fear and anxiety. <laughs> Please be careful not to add anything extra, otherwise you might end up with a law of unintended consequences. <laughs> Well, that's all the time we have today. <laughs> Stay tuned for the Honey Badger Hour next. And remember, always put your best food forward.